don't even know how to begin this review. Alright guys, gals, and everything in between. Uh, it's time for another one of my reviews, and we are reviewing the Christopher Nolan film, Interstellar. It's safe to say that this is one of the most anticipated movies of the year. And how does it fare? Well, the story, ultimately, of Interstellar is our planet is dying. It's not going to last much longer, and we have a slim chance that maybe we could colonize somewhere else. Look for answers, because a wormhole has developed, and we can travel through it and, in theory, find other worlds to habit. So the Lincoln lawyer himself leads the charge. And, guys, Matthew McConaughey, wow. I mean, this is probably the best performance of his career, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, he just steals every scene he's in. When Anne Hathaway isn't in a scene trying to steal the scene from him, I mean, this movie has a lot of good actors. Let's just put it that way. This movie has one of the best casts I've seen in a while. We go out there, and the, the story is goes around Matthew McConaughey and his daughter Murph. That's primarily what we're fighting for. That's what we've learned. And the father-daughter bond in this film, you're just like, Wow! I'm really, really pushing for you guys because I care. They made you care. And this film is an epic, people. I mean, it, it every shot is breathtaking, especially the space shots. Oh my god! I mean, when you watch just outer space, you were like, I am in space, I am on this interstellar journey with them. And you really just feel this grand scope that is very reminiscent of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yes, the Nolan brothers clearly were writing 2001 A Space Odyssey, and they were like, you know what, we should make it our own movie, so add the Lincoln Lawyer. It, it really becomes its own thing. The, the worlds, when you land on the worlds, you're just like, whoa, I am on another planet right now. You genuinely feel like you're on another planet. And it's just insane how good everything looks. Now, I'm giving it a lot of praise. Is this movie a perfect movie? No. Uh, the biggest problem that the film has is that it is absurdly long. It is really long. But when you look at it, you go, I don't think I cut anything out. So, I mean, it has to be there, but it's just so long that it kind of you almost feel it towards the end, where you're like, okay, come on. Uh, and the some people have said that the last ten minutes of the movie feels unnecessary. I don't think so. I think what it is is thought-provoking. Uh, I think this film is one of those films that's going to be discussed. I'm trying to come up with a new rating system, by the way, and one of the, the ratings that I wanted on there for more like phrasing, so people don't say, well, you scored this one higher than this one, why do you say you like this one more, kind of thing. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I, I had one that was called Future Classic, and not to be mixed up with Iggy Azalea. And I wanted Future Classic, and this is sort of what this means, because Interstellar is one of those films I believe in 20 years from now people will still talk about if they're talking about film in film schools. I feel like they'll say, well, when Christopher Nolan made Interstellar, here's my theories. And I feel like it'll keep going. And this is a thought-provoking film, and I love that because the movie, ever since I walked out of it, I was sitting there thinking about it. I mean, stretches of time have gone on. I've continued to process it. It's a movie that makes you think about us as people, about love, about all of these things, and it it packs it all together, and you're like, this is an experience, not just a film. Is it a perfect movie? No. But is it a thought-provoking movie that really intrigues you and makes you want to learn more, and makes you want to strive for more? I believe it definitely can. Guys, Interstellar is beautifully shot, the visual effects are top-notch, you feel like you're on this journey, and it's thought-provoking. It's a special effects bonanza, but at the same time, it gives you this very intimate, 
thoughtful story that makes you go, wow, I really want to watch that again. Interstellar is a 90%. The, it did feel really long to me, but at the same time, that's not a bad thing, which is why I want to make these sentence-structured reviews, because I've given it lower than some other movies. But 90% is a fantastic rating. It is, I believe, going to be something that's discussed years from now. Uh, guys, go see Interstellar on the biggest screen you could. I did not see it in IMAX, and the second that I was watching it, I was like, I already want to see it on a bigger screen. See it in IMAX. Okay, guys, are you going to see Interstellar, and what did you think? Please don't, spo Please don't post spoilers in the comments. All right, guys, we'll see you later.